Hello and welcome to the Jag. Rob, a friendly guy from Facebook, the Jaguar group in the Netherlands, offered me his Jaguar to try out some software. And that is the iPace Power Cruise Control from Italy. Look at this, it's telling me exactly what will happen. I will tell you some more at the charger. Welcome to the Jaguar I-Pace that I could borrow from Rob. Thank you Rob. He met the people behind Jaguar Power Cruise Control. This app that you can now just get for Android and that shows you how far you can go and where you should charge. There's very little settings. I hope there will be more in the future because then you will be able to uh, save more preferences. But let's say I would like to visit some friends in Delfshaven, Rotterdam today. And I'm not fully charged. So I'm thinking that I could need some help with that. Dels have in Rotterdam, hello. Calculate travel. Let's put on the air conditioning. So, I cannot make it in a normal way, or I can, I can make it in a dangerous way, or I can just drive the legal speed limit so actually I can just go and it will warn me it will warn me that I have to uh, be careful because if I don't drive slow we will not make it so charge more so I do a multi-charge travel plan I say that my minimum charge that I accept is a hundred kilowatts mm, yes so then it shows me all the stations on the route three fastnet locations so if I select that bus port one I can activate it like this I can say how long I want to stay there well not long and I press start and it tells me how much I will have at Bosport and with the amount that I will arrive in Delfshaven and I can send it to Google Maps Google Maps is active on Android Auto but it's actually showing ah yeah yeah so I just get guidance to the fastnet station and over there you get the new directions to your final destination and while you're driving you see the images as shown before and depending on your driving style the car will move up and down the lower the car goes the more you're using consumption wise the lower your state of charge will be when you arrive at the station very easy it knows about all the important chargers so I can really recommend it to people driving the Jaguar especially on long distance travel so I will delete this travel plan and show you one more let's say I visit friend, friends that run the Niu store in Antwerp I'm curious if it's already in there and it is I say calculate travel officially we're not allowed to cross the border but I've heard many rumors that you can just cross the border no problem and I see Belgian license plates every day so it's also a bit of a, a bit of a joke multi-charge travel 
then again I select my minimum charging spe speed that I would like to receive hmm why why is it grayed out so yeah sometimes stuff happens and I don't really know what to say I also don't think that this is actually true there are other stations on the road so if I change the minimum to 50 kilowatts it's actually workable but yeah I'm not convinced that the app is actually really right in this regard anyway you still get the idea of what you can do you can have a lot of fiddles this is weird okay so I yeah so you can see the outcome depending how long you stay at fast net at the border you can see the percentage that you will arrive with in Antwerp so I like that part a lot because it gives you the opportunity to charge shortly another test run with power cruise control on the Jaguar I-Pace let's say I want to visit some friends in the south of Germany close to Switzerland this is what the terrain looks like quite cool that you can see that you will climb to around 700 meters and very important because it will change consumption locally drastically when you're further on the trip so obviously this will be a multi-charge travel plan and obviously I want only the fastest chargers so I'm gonna select 100 kilowatts so you can see that it gives two choices although I'm not really sure why it shows these two fast nets and the Hakkelaar is at the wrong side of the road so it's not a great beginning let's choose Honswijk because I know that the other one is at the wrong side of the road but how would you find out well that is interesting if I press the question mark nothing happens so okay this is also a bit scary that you need to choose, choose between east and west obviously we will travel south so it's going to be on the west side I, and I've also been here in the past but still you know I wonder if I change this a bit okay so we won't make it if we change too little so we're gonna stop at Ionity and afterwards we will charge at fastnet so we need less charging time and we can still make it we even need le well half an hour charging break is okay right so let's do half an hour there fastnet has a great pizza place so actually we could change the, this to even less uh, but then it thinks that we won't make it to fastnet so a little bit more then we use fastnet to charge up a lot yeah and afterwards we'll just take the furthest one Pforzheim so you actually don't know what kind of station that is you might be a Lego ENBW stuff like this so it's not perfect yet maybe the eye will tell me hmm. yeah then I will browse the internet so right now I don't want to leave the app and so hopefully f in the future the app can show a bit more what to expect over there so we'll choose the west side here oh but no we don't even need to if I don't mind to arrive in Constance with 14% then I don't mind 
then I can just press start. So this is what the travel plan looks like. Obviously this means that we would start right now. I'm not gonna do that. But it gives you a good impression of the actual times. Although I wonder if traffic is calculated in this. So I press Holmesvec. <coughs> it goes from charger to charger. And every time when you're charging, you can see the actual charging speed like I showed you in the other video. And then you can decide on staying a bit longer or not. And the app will just fluctuate with you. So the nice part is really that it has so much statistics of the car in the car um, so if you go here if you go to this screen it shows you all the geeky information you could ever wish for the Jaguar I-Pace and this is all thanks to the OBD machine under the steering wheel oh yes so yeah, you can see that the battery is still very hot, even though I have been out of the car for an hour. And when you're charging, or now when I'm using the air conditioning, I can even see what it cost. So, I can recommend anybody driving the iPace to get the OBD controller that you can order on Amazon from the power cruise control people. It comes straight from Italy. It's not expensive right now will cost you around 25 euros and I think there will be um, there will be a yearly fee to keep the app updated uh, but you will have to check that on the website because I'm not sure what um, what the pricing of that will be but yeah I really love that people try to make this car better and yeah the people behind this app are actually doing so so once more it just shows you what to do it shows you how to behave you can see the terrain and yeah depending on where you live and where you drive a lot that might even be more useful than uh, than anything else obviously it's set to the car that we're using this shows that we have actual connection going on and the car will indicate <coughs> the higher the car is in the screen the better the lower your consumption so um, yeah it also shows that if you go full throttle when you're in Germany on the highway you might get into the red zone so here if there's a danger of you running out of juice this changes colors and uh, then the deeper you dive the scarier it gets but the reality is that thanks to this app you will always exactly know what's going on with the battery and you will always be able to adjust your driving behavior to that and this is uh, a knowledge that is very useful to have so I really liked to have the app today when I was driving around the Netherlands to visit a couple of Fastnet, Ionity and Shell recharge stations the whole video will be up soon see you later Open dan de airco aan. Okay. En nu mede met elektrische auto is het natuurlijk nog. Uh, is is zo'n. Zo Hele goede reis, Rob. Heel erg bedankt.